Hello everyone, it is me, G-R-A-E, and today we will be addressing the elephant in the room. What the f*** is capitalism and why are we living in it? Ever since I was very young, I knew I never wanted to work in a regular job. When the teachers would ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up gray? I had a plethora of answers. When I was seven, the answer was very simple. I wanted to be a mom. There was nothing else in the entire world that I could ask for but to be a mother, like my mother, because she was the person who I looked up to and admired the most. Miss Poe, my second grade teacher, made sure to take me down a few pegs and she let me know, baby, that is not a job and I needed to pick something else. That was the first time I realized this shit is kind of weird. Why can't I just be a mom? Why do I need to work to live? When I was in middle school, there was two things I wanted more than anything in the world. And that was to be an artist or a YouTuber because I finally discovered YouTube when I was like 11. And I was like, this is what I want to do. And again, my parents made sure to let me know that that was not successful. <sighs> Imagine if they would have let me express myself. Who knows where I could have been with YouTube, baby? Okay, okay, we're gonna reel it back a little bit though. When I was in high school, I went through many different options, one of which was nursing. And then I realized you have to sometimes work in nursing homes and wipe grown folks' ass. And that was something that I was not down for. To the people who are nurses or nursing assistants, thank God for you, cause baby, it wasn't for me. After I went through that little phase, I went through a few other things um, and I landed on cosmetologists. My mom told me that that's something she thought I would be good at and I took that to heart because I had been bleaching and dying and doing all types of f shit to my hair since I was probably like 12. It kind of made sense to me, but I still hadn't made up my mind. Around the time I turned 17, I decided I was going to run away from home, live with a 30 year old man and drop out of high school. So that was a choice. <laughs> a lot of weird things were happening at the time and so I decided to get myself out of the situation by joining the army. Before this time I had worked two fast food jobs one of which I was basically a manager without manager pay. When I was in the army I did HVAC which is air conditioning. I was a mechanic. I decided on HVAC because first of all I knew getting out of the army which I knew I didn't want to be in forever. I could get a really good job, a really high paying job. People who do air conditioning can show up to somebody's house and charge them $80 to just look at what the is going on before diagnosing anything. The other reason I chose AC is because it was supposed to be a $40,000 bonus, but because I dropped out of high school, my recruiter told me that that was no longer an option. I love that for me. I didn't really enjoy air conditioning. I thought it was cool. I still think it's really cool, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. I had only chosen it because I knew it would be a good backup plan, even though I didn't have a real plan yet. My first year in the army, 2017 to 2018, was great and I actually considered doing life or 20 years, whatever, not life, Jesus, it sounds like I'm going to prison. I decided that I really wanted to do 20 years and I thought that would be a really good idea because the army was really easy for me. All I had to do was show up, do what the f I was asked to do and go home and that was it. And it was dope, you know? But then year two rolled around about 2019 and I was assaulted. After that, I decided it was probably time for me to go. So that is what I did. July, 2020, I get out of the army and I'm like, oh f what the hell am I gonna do? I'm living with my husband. I am like doing DoorDash or whatever, but it's not really giving me enough money to like live. My husband was like, yo, chill. I got it, I'm paying for things. And then we decided we were gonna get a divorce. You know, spice it up a little. And I was like, holy f what am I gonna do? So I chose retail. I got into working at this crystal shop. It was fine. I had a manic episode. I decided I was leaving my husband and I was gonna move to Kansas and quit my job all within one day. And then I didn't end up doing two of those things, which was moving to Kansas and leaving my husband. All I did was quit my job. So I was shit out of luck as you could probably tell so in that moment i decided it was time for me to go to school after getting my ged i never considered college unless it was going to be a vocational or technical school because i personally don't believe in real college so many people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year going to real college and then never using their degrees and i don't feel like wasting my own time that way so i decided to go back to what my mom had told me years before that i you know i would be good 
studied cosmetology and I was like, you know what? I might just fucking do that. So what did I do? I signed up for a school, I got registered, blah, blah, blah. And I get kicked out within the first eight weeks of school. Story time on that coming really soon. <laughs> At that point, I am kind of faced with this reality that like, I have no idea what I want to do. I was just kind of in disbelief, like holy fuck, I was putting all of my eggs in this one hair stylist basket. I thought this was going to be the end all be all. I thought this was going to solve all my problems. I had finally found the thing that I wanted to do and then it fell through. And while I was in school, I was like, oh, I don't love this. I'm good at it. I'm great at it, but this is not really something I can see myself doing for 20 years. And once I got out of school, I got a job, which is what I'm doing now, but I'm still sitting here wondering, what do I want? So I realized a few weeks ago, it really like hit me after watching a few YouTube videos similar to the one that I'm making now that I don't dream of labor. And it's so weird saying that shit out loud. But I feel like people who follow me typically are like-minded to me. I feel like you guys are gonna vibe with this. I don't dream of having the same job for 40 years. That is stability for some people, but for me, that is not stability at all. I grew up in a military household, so we moved around from the time I was probably two years old. I've lived in, I don't even know how many states, I went to like 10 different schools. Finding a place and staying in that place for 20, 40, 50 years doesn't make sense to me. And as a kid, I that was like my dream. I was like, oh, I'm tired of moving. Dad, why do you have to be in the army? I just wanna be in one place. I wanna feel stable. But now I'm realizing how good that was for me because there was absolutely no way really for me to get stuck in the same habits, stuck around the same people or shitty crowd or whatever. I mean, of course there is, everyone has decisions and free will, but moving every three, four years, I'm realizing now that was probably the best thing for me. I think my soul is like a wandering soul. Sorry to get all deep or whatever. I don't think I'm supposed to be in one place for 40 years. My soul is a traveler. I was never meant to be in one place for very long. I full and wholeheartedly believe that, you know, say what you wanna say, but that is what I believe. I feel so much better knowing that like, this generation, in my opinion, is going to change the ideals, the American dream, if you will. Because, you know, before it was find a stable job, find a nice girl from church or boy from church, whatever your fucking deal was, have some babies, buy a white picket fence house, and live there until you die. I wholeheartedly believe that my generation, I was born in 99, by the way, I don't know if that matters. I feel like we are changing that shit. Because really, it doesn't make sense. Company loyalty means nothing anymore. That's like the first thing. Um, you can get fired or let go or whatever for any reason these days. All of these corporations don't give a f about the individual. And I'm realizing that there's absolutely no point in me putting all my eggs in one basket because I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. Loyalty means nothing to them. And also I'm realizing how much nothing is guaranteed anymore, especially with this whole, COVID-19 thing and our economy kind of going through this weird vibe that it is, nothing is guaranteed. And in my opinion, <laughs> and this is a whole nother fucking subject, but I'm going to get into it really quickly. Materialism is a big deal here in America and owning more things is equated to being more valuable in the eyes of like everyone. I don't know, sheeple, you know, I don't want to go there but anyways so working hard to get these tangible items is really important to a lot of people and making this big amount of money is like super important because they want to have this big house and this luxury car and whatever but for me i don't really value those things and maybe you're looking behind me and you're like you have a lot of sh I'm actually downsizing right now and I'm going to be doing a more minimalism route which is something I can talk about in a whole nother video because I'm actually planning on moving to Florida within the next year from Washington State literally like 3,000 miles clear across the country but anyways I don't value tangible items anymore what I value is experiences and staying in one place doing the same repetitive bullshit every day is not gonna get me those experiences. It'll get me those tangible items, again, that I don't value, but that experience, is it's just not 
it doesn't make sense okay back to the whole tangible item rant studies have found that people who are in possession of more tangible items who value that have an overall like less life fulfillment does that make sense they feel less happy in life and also another thing which blew me away when i saw this because people who live in clutter and have a lot of things tend to be more overweight and i'm like it all makes sense now hello i don't think people with more things are more valuable i believe the most valuable person in america is the person that knows how to grow their own crops knows how to be completely self-sufficient without the government people who have like solar power and wind power and don't have to like pay that much in like bills you know what i mean those are the kinds of things that i value and that i strive for i just want to have a comfortable life i don't want to live an extravagant amazing life i don't want to also live paycheck to paycheck don't get me wrong but i don't want to get stuck putting all of my value into a dollar amount. I think that is a horrible way to use my energy. I am not going to put my energy into that anymore. I've always kind of thought this way that I just wanna be content in my life. I don't care about having a corporate job and making $100,000 a year, that's not something I value. I just wanna be doing something that I'm content with. And more than anything, I want a job where I can have an adequate amount of rest as well as time to myself to develop new hobbies and skills outside of things that make me money. They say that you should have three hobbies in life, one that makes you money, one that keeps you fit, and then one that keeps you happy or something like that. And I definitely wholeheartedly believe that, so yeah. Sorry, editing me here. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I can only put so much energy into each thing, which is why I'm choosing to not have a dream job. I guess I'm not choosing to not have a dream job. I've never had one, but I'm not looking for one also, but I'm only 22. Why would I choose right now at 22 what I'm gonna do for the next 40 years? Boomers always tell people my age and younger that we don't need to get a tattoo because we're gonna regret it in 40 years or we don't need to cut our hair this way because we're gonna regret it when we're older or we don't need to do this or do that because we're gonna regret it when we're older. But why would I choose a career now at 22 just to regret it when I'm older. That's a big decision, don't you think? This video was kind of ranty, but I think I got my point across. If you feel the same way, please feel free to communicate in my comments. I would love to hear you guys' point of view. This is kind of really vulnerable for me to talk about because I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, you're a idiot. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Please excuse my dog down here. We are going to go to bed now because it is literally 9.30 and I'm usually asleep like an hour ago, but I really felt the need to talk about this. So yeah, that's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed or took something out of this video. I hope you related in some way. If not, you know, talk to me in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say. I hope you're doing well and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye.